There is a looming mental health crisis in the United States, especially among young people. A recent study found that the percentage of children and teens hospitalized for suicidal thoughts or self-harm has more than doubled over the past decade. Cyberbullying, family issues, substance abuse, and mental illness leave millions of kids in despair. Crisis Text Line is a nonprofit organization for anyone in pain to anonymously text with a trained counselor 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Founder Nancy Lublin was compelled to start the organization when she received a text message she'll never forget. I was the CEO of DoSomething.org, an organization for young people and social change. It's all volunteering and campaigns and things you can get involved with. And they text those ideas to members. But every week, a couple dozen people text back with things having nothing to do with Do Something campaigns, but about personal things like being bullied, drug addiction, violence at home. And we would send them, here's a hotline number, or talk to your mom or your principal. And then we got a message that was horrific and on another scale. It, it literally said, he won't stop raping me. It's my dad. He told me not to tell anyone. And then the letters, are you there? We sent her the phone number for a great organization um, and never heard back from her again. I don't know if her father saw that message or if it was a burner phone or if she's dead or alive. Um, and that was haunting. And I had the idea for Crisis Text Line. People text us like they're texting a friend or family. They text the number 741-741. The first thing you get is an automatic response that says, thanks for texting in. What's going on with you? And then what happens on our side is it gets parts to the next available crisis counselor. These are people who are volunteers, have gone through a background check and a 34-hour online training. And they're here to help you go from hot to cool and make you feel strong. When I first had the idea for Crisis Text Line, most people were pretty skeptical. They were like, are people really gonna share personal things by text? I mean, you'll start with text and level up to phone or video, right? It turns out that text is actually a fantastic way to intervene in a crisis or in any kind of a personal situation. It's very private, no one overhears you, so we get people in the moment. Instead of waiting till there's a quiet moment later and no one's around or sneaking off to the bathroom, we get people texting us from the back of biology class as they're having a panic attack over the exam in front of them. We get people in the middle of a violent situation texting us. This is the largest mental health data set that's ever been collected, stored, and analyzed, and it grows every day in real time. We've been able to discover words that are more effective than others, like smart, proud, and brave, are the best words you could say to someone who's in pain. We've been able to discover what things really are high risk. The unhappy face crying emoji, four times more likely for us to call 911. And the words ibuprofen, aspirin, Tylenol, Advil, all of those things are 16 times more likely for us to call 911. We're gonna do about a million conversations this year, and I think of that as tiny. You know, 911 does something like 300 million calls a year, and we should be like the 911 for mental health. So strap in, we're, we're just taking off. <laughs>